Hey, welcome to today's tech tip video. We're gonna be showing you how to add the base network to your MetaMask wallet. A lot of people have been sending to uh, the base network, so we're just gonna take care of that. So first things first, you go ahead and open up your MetaMask wallet. Um, the Ethereum, so the network switcher's up here in the top left hand corner. And so typically you'll be able to add a network with a couple of buttons, but this one's just a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna go ahead and hit add network. What that's going to do, it's going to pop up this whole screen where we can add the network. And you'll notice the base network isn't one of the networks that are built into uh, MetaMask. So you have to not use the search function, nor can you use the, uh, the uh, function where you add a network right here. You have to actually add a network manually. So let's go ahead and add that network manually by selecting this button down here. All right, so we need a couple of different things. Uh, we need the network name, the RPC, chain ID, all that stuff. Okay, so we're just going to get that from um, the uh, docs, the docs for the base network over here. So I'm gonna just going to paste those, actually. So that we're just going to do the base mainnet. Um, under description, we don't need anything new. RPC URL. Um, we're going to go here. And paste that. Whoops. Make sure there's no spaces here. So this is the RPC, this is the URL here. I think if you hover over, chain ID is used for signing transactions. So the chain ID is actually 84. And you guys can look all this stuff up too. 8453, currency symbol is ETH. Um, block Explorer URL is base scan. So we're gonna copy and paste that. Boom. All right, so that should add the base network here. So let's go ahead and hit save. Boom, you've now switched to the base mainnet. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to do to add the base network. So got it. So um, we've already switched to the base mainnet. What are you talking about? Okay, so now you can switch to any of those networks there. I can go back to the Ethereum um, mainnet or I can go to the base mainnet by selecting this button here. So if you accidentally send ETH from your Coinbase account to the base network. This is where the, um, oh, this is one more thing that we need to show you. So the Ethereum. So typically, so we would want to import tokens. Um, you're going to have to do a custom token every time since it's kind of a new network. So what we need to do is we need to go to the base scan explorer. Okay. And we can find the USDC, um, token address here. I think we can do it this way. So right here is the USDC token address on the base network. It's actually different than the Ethereum one. So we're going to copy that. And then we are going to import USDC on the base network. So that's how you have to do it. So if you haven't, um, if you can't find your USDC, that's how you do it there. So both of those should show up now. If you accidentally sent from your Coinbase to the base network, they'll now be in your MetaMask on the base mainnet. And you cannot use those on the Ethereum mainnet. So if you want to switch those back over to Ethereum, you either need to bridge them, which I don't know what kind of bridges they have, or you need to send them back to Coinbase to figure that out. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful uh, a little bit. If you want more tech tip videos just like this one, go ahead and go to nickblacknext.com, put in your name and email, and you'll get signed up for our mailing list where we send out all kinds of tips and advice on how to navigate this crazy world of crypto that we're still grappling with. Take it easy and we'll see you in the next one.